Okay, let's have a quick look at the timeline down here. You can see already that we've got the heading, that's that text there, and the, the background of the slide. Um, let's put some objects on here so you can see. So if I put another text caption on there, click the text caption, you can see here the text caption. I'm just going to put some text in here. H-E-L-L-O, this is a text caption. But you already knew that. I'm going to put that one here. Um, just to demonstrate how this timeline works, I'm going to put another couple of captions on there. So I'm going to put another one here. This one I'm going to change to pastel green. And then I'm going to double click it to edit the text. This is caption two. Okay, I'm going to put another one in there. Uh, type this is caption three. This is caption three and place it down here. And I'm going to make that one oh, business yellow. Oh, what a yucky color. Anyway, I've got the three captions. You can see all the captions are here. This timeline starts from naught and it ends on three seconds. Okay, you can see the three seconds down here. This little thing here magnifies the timeline so you can see things a little easier. Um, here we've got an eyeball and if I click on these eyeballs you can see that things disappear. Also I've got a padlock so for instance if I've got this text caption selected I can lock it now I can't move it. See I'm trying to drag it I can't move it. That's what that padlock does. Now also, we can move these captions so that they come in at different times. So if I grab that, move that to two seconds, grab this one, move it to one second. As I drag my uh, mouse over that, the red cursor there, you can now see that I can drag this from left to right and the text boxes appear or disappear. Also, if you hold your mouse over the ends of these, it's changed into a little double arrow. I can make these stay on the screen for a less amount of time or a longer amount of time by stretching it um, to the, the um, time that I want. Also, we have a play um, buttons down the bottom here. So if you didn't want to actually drag your cursor across the timeline, you could just use this play button to play that slide. Um, also here we've got a, uh, a mute. So if you had sound on here, which we haven't gone into yet, but if you did have sound on here, we can mute the sound. Also here we've got an elapsed time, so as we press that you can see that it's going up in seconds. Okay, and I think that's about it for the timeline uh, for the basic stuff.